Another quick way to build a part program in PCDMIS is to use a tool called the ASCII importer. If you're presented with lists of points that you need to somehow measure in PCDMIS, I'm going to show you how to use this tool. You can see on the screen an example of such a list. This list has a header, it has a label for the point, and then it has X, Y, Z, I, J, K values that are separated by commas. So what we need to do is we need to build a rule set that will read this data into PCDMIS. So I've got a part program that has created an alignment and switched to DCC mode. Now what I want to do is I want to import our ASCII file and have PCDMIS automatically create the code that will inspect these points. To do that, we're going to select File, Import, ASCII file. We'll browse over to our point list and select Import. At this point, PCDMIS presents our general parser. And I've created a rule set ahead of time for these particular points. But let's build another one so you can see what the steps are. We're going to select Create. And before I do anything, it's a good idea to preview the file that we've selected. And I can do that with the Preview checkbox. And we can see before we begin that PCDMIS does not know anything about the feature type. And all of our lines are crammed together right down column 1. So we need to do something to fix that. The first thing we need to do is remove the header information which is line 1. And I can do that by selecting Skip File Header and specifying the number of lines that the header represents. When I hit the Refresh button, PCDMIS ignores that line. If there was any footer information in our file, I could skip that using the same strategy. Let's hit the Next button. And this dialog is going to allow me to organize our data into columns. Right now we have a single column. But what I want to do is specify the delimiters for each of our columns. And normally you can guess at at least three characters are being used as a delimiter. A tab, a space, and in this case, I'm also using a comma. When I hit refresh, PCDMIS uses those three delimiters to reorganize our file into the appropriate columns. So now we can see that we've got column 1, which is our feature label. Column 2, 3, and 4 are X, Y, Z values. 5, 6, and 7 are the I, J, K values. When you have your columns set up correctly, Make sure that you specify the units as well. In this case, this file is in metric. I'm going to select the Next button. Step 3 specifies the type of feature that is contained in this file. And I'm using a point type feature, so I'm going to put a check next to it. And in the Feature fields, I'm going to choose the fields that represent each of my columns. For instance, column 1 represents the feature ID. Column 2, 3, and 4 are the theoretical XYZ values. And columns 5, 6, and 7 are the theoretical IJK values. If we select the Refresh button now, PCDMIS organizes our data such that it uses those field names. I'm going to select Next, and I'm going to select Finish. And I'm simply going to give this rule set a name. So I don't have to do this step again. The next time I import this ASCII file, I just select this rule set and select Import to Part Program, and I'll use Directly. And you can see what PCDMIS has done. It's created the code that represents all those features that we've selected, along with the XYZ IJK values.